Right. Stand by. See it all comes up. OTI Racing, Belnaring Cup is on their journey now. OY got out to a good start and he's going to lead early. Rolling forward was Foxtrot Mo, who's got similar in 10. And also right up there was Tycoon Felix riding the speed. Derek the Vikings going to slide across, however. He's a noted front runner. And Ray Douglas shooting for his 11th. Belnaring Cup is going to lead them. He's going to have company. Seedle's going to sit outside of it and apply the pressure. And Cooper's going to get the perfect drop off the speed. Foxtrot Mo's a length away third. Likewise, getting an economical run was Tycoon Felix in fourth. OY after the speedy starters ended up midfield. Then followed by Riley's Rocket, who was next in running. Manhattan zip a little bit wider. Brugolino got back with a handful behind it. They mean Kazoom, who now starts to improve. And to the outside and last in the race was Napoleon. They run off the back. They've got 700 metres left to go in the cup and there's been no napping. Pushing onto the top was See It All, who leads. Outside of it was Tycoon Felix. Derek the Viking was next then followed by Foxtrot Mo. Kazoom's been forced to cover ground likewise Manhattan Zip then followed by OY. Brugolino second last. Spots the speed eight and Napoleon has felt the pinch and he's fallen away at the tail end of the field working down the side putting the pedal to the metal was see it all it plays catch me if you can. The first to lay down the gauntlet Tycoon Felix the outside then followed by Foxtrot Mo. Not a heat making ground Manhattan Zip further back to Riley's Rocket, see it all's in front trying hard, Tycoon Felix the outside, looms up outside it's a ding dong battle see it all, see it all the inside as I fancy he's won the Belnaring Cup and nosed out Tycoon Felix a gap then further back Manhattan Zip, Foxtrot Mo then followed by Kazoom OY Derek the Viking, Riley's Rocket Brugolino and Napoleon the last one home and see it all will win. Pushed on to the head of supremacy. What a great story for Marie Melody Pomeray, who's come over from France. This is her second season of picnic riding. It was only at Christmas time. She couldn't come back for the start of the picnic season because she was stuck in France with COVID. And not only has she got back to Australia in just her second season of picnic riding, she has claimed what is one of the most coveted pieces of silverware on the picnic circuit. See it all has lasted to win from a game tycoon Felix. In what was a ding dong battle, there was not a heap of horses making ground they ran along at a good clip. Derek the Viking led early, but Marie was keen to get on the bike and put her horse right into the play. Tycoon Felix and Foxtrot Mo, they both enjoyed a good sit off the speed. And congratulations, see it all, for Mel Watts at Cranbourne. And Marie, Melody, Pomeray have combined to win the OTI Racing and Bloodstock Belnaring Cup. We'll await for the numbers to be confirmed on the feature, but it will be 10 ahead of 5. 10, 5, 4, 12. 10, 5, 4 and 12. 10, 5, 4 and 12. Third in 4, Foxtrot Mo. Fourth in 12, Manhattan Zip. 10, 5, 4 and 12. Short head three and three quarter. A short head by 3 and 3 quarter lengths your margins. 137.19. And 137.19 was the run in the cup. Record of 136.02. That will not bother the backers and connections of number 10, See It All, who was a really gallant run at Woolamai two starts ago. I caught it on that occasion. It was forced to cover ground as a result of a sent out favourite at Woolamai recently. It finished fourth on that occasion, but it has been able to do it from both ends this afternoon in a big performance and hold off the challenge of Tycoon Felix who is honest as the day is long that's that Galloper's 11th second placing as this winner makes its way back towards scale and I'm sure Marie Melody Pomeray will be grinning from ear to ear a massive achievement in just her second season of picnic riding and see it all has given her 
An almighty thrill, I'm sure, for trainer Mel Watts as well. The winner making its way up the home straight. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your Belnarring Cup winner, Marie. She wants you to get involved. She's pretty happy about it, and why not? See it all for Marie Melody Pomeray. She only picked up the ride this morning. Jack Fagona took the ride on Napoleon instead, the emergency, and that has enabled Marie to take out the Belnaring Cup. She's ridden it a treat, and well done to Mel Watts at Cranbourne, who's put the polish on this gelding by the way you are out of a flying spur mare owned by Mrs B and M Watts. So it's a family affair. Mel Watts at Cranbourne. That's start number 30 today, and believe it or not, see it all had only won a maiden race prior to this. Its second victory of its career comes in none other than the OTI Racing and Bloodstock Belnaring Cup. Repeating those numbers are 10, 5, 4 and 12. It's a short head by 3 and 3 quarters. 1.37.19 the overall time. But see it all, Mel Watson, Marie, Melody Pomeray are the stars of the show today.